Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes yeah I'm trying to think what else do I normally say I don't know um Yes, so my website, jasonnewland.com, have a look, have a little look, have a little peek, it's uh, it's alright, you know, it's alright, let us know what you think, all of my recordings are now on there, all of the audios are now organised, categorised, easy to find. And there's also a testimonial page where people have, you can write testimonials and post them on there. Uh, Let me know what you think of what I do. I've added testimonials on there from messages and comments that I've had on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. So every all the testimonial all the testimonials that are on there at the moment on this day, whatever today is, Sunday the blah blah of September two thousand nineteen nineteen is uh, they're all legitimate. And provable, if, if that makes any sense. So it's, I'm not just I'm not just made them up uh, because that'd be really sad, wouldn't it? Uh, can you imagine making up uh, things that people have said about you? Oh, I'd be saying, or oh, I'd be like, oh, he's, you're so handsome. Oh, I just. Can't stop thinking about you. You're so good looking, and I love big fat bellies. I love them. It makes me so horny. That's it. That's the sort of stuff that I'd be writing as a testimonial for myself, not from me, but you know, pretending it's from someone else. But uh, no, I like bald men. <laughs> Although I'm not technically bald. I do shave my head usually a couple of times a year um, although it's it's growed grow quite a bit I suppose now I'm just uh, I suppose technically I'm still a skinhead I've just got a kind of a crew cut probably what it would be classed as now like a I don't know number three or number four it's, it's no more than probably about an inch, maybe inch and a half long. Not hugely, not quite ponytail length just yet. I used to have a ponytail. I did. I did. Uh, I cut off my girlfriend's hair when she was asleep. Kept it. <laughs> No, I didn't. And I, I used to have I used to have long hair. I did. It was nineteen ninety one, and I don't know why. I honestly do not know why. I decided, and it was probably the April. 1991 I decided 
I was going to grow my hair long. And I stuck to it. And I had really thick curly hair as it grew. And as soon as it was long enough to put into a ponytail, I did. And by ponytail, I mean tiny little ponytail. Like a little nub or nib or knob. Not knob, nib, nub. Like tiny little thing. Which pulled my hair back. Which has probably contributed towards the hair follicles at the front of my hair. Deciding not to continue growing. Yes, there you go. And I think to myself, you know what? Because I had long hair from then all the way to the summer 1994. The end of the summer 94. So I had long hair pretty much through 92, 93, 94. And part of 91, although I started and I didn't have short hair in April. So my hair was probably, it needed cutting, if that makes sense, in April. And uh, so it got long enough to be in a ponytail before the end of the year. So I had long hair for a few years. I wish I still did really. Not perhaps now. Actually that doesn't make that sentence doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, I'm feeling really hungry. I wish I could eat. But not but not now. Not right not right now. I really need to go to the toilet, but not right now. That doesn't that's a nonsensical statement. I do believe. Um, I. Yes, I had long hair. And I remember the day I had it cut. I woke up, as I do most days, and my hair was just. I'm not quite sure how to explain. Um, it, it just sticking up it was it looked like I had a really really big head like the world's biggest head and you know it sort of I don't know like someone had spent all night long rubbing blooms over my head as well so when I woke up my hair was just like static so when I converted to made the house yeah replaced all the bricks from the house and the ceiling with blooms maybe I don't know you know what I mean so my hair was very it was just awful Which is why I had it in a ponytail, because if I left it just without the ponytail, it just stuck out. Even though it's down to the probably the middle of my back. That's how long it got to the middle of my back. It's just curly and thick, and I. On that particular day, I was trying to brush it, and I couldn't get the brush through it. And it put me into a mood, a little tantrum. Because my hair was knotted, and I brushed it every day and washed it regularly and all that, but... I just... (laughs) I had a tantrum, so... I went to the hairdressers or to the barber's shop, which was literally the end of the road from where I lived. And I'd been seeing him since 89, I think. Been going in there and having my hair cut. And even when it was long, I'd have it trimmed, you know, 
uh, have the ends cut off and um, he's always excited he said can I do it this time can I can I can I and I'd always say no Mr Barber man just to trim I don't want you cutting it all off and then one day I went in there and there was a big queue and I said Mr Barber man Mr B he said yes I said you can do it today and he just said he got all excited and he kicked everyone else out of the shop he said get out this man's first <laughs> and he put me in a chair and he got so excited and none of that happened and he got really but he did get excited and he put me in the chair and he just, honestly I've, I don't think I've ever seen a happier face ever or I don't think I've ever seen anyone look so happy looking at me in the mirror that could be another way of looking at it and he cut off the ponytail that's the first thing he did he just cut off cut it off and started laughing and showed it to me and he said something really weird he said are you sure you want me to cut it off like it's a little bit late now isn't it and he cut it and he, he made my hair look lovely you know because you can do a lot more with hair when it's long than you can when it's really short you know you can you've got something to play with haven't you you've got something to um, work with so it was nice very nice nicely styled probably possibly the best styled hair I've, I've had at that point although I did have a half perm once just the left side of my head that's when I was at school I once had my hair dyed brown and you may say well you got brown hair why did you have it dyed brown and I figured I'd have it dyed the same colour as what it is already just to see whether I liked it or not and I had my hair bleached once as well went to the hairdressers and had it bleached and that was another excitement I was like oh we're going to bleach him and I said no you got it wrong it's my hair I want bleached oh and it burnt it was horrible my ears and my scalp I was like oh man that was I looked so silly I really really looked silly I mean even I knew I looked silly everyone everyone laughed at me even people I didn't know I'd never met before laughed at me I mean, it's bad when people you've never even met that don't know what you normally look like laugh so it's like when you're wearing glasses for the first time and when I was at school I started wearing glasses because I'd been getting headaches and the doctor said that I needed to wear that the doctor sent me to opticians and then the optician said I needed to wear glasses all the time and also gave me a patch because one of my eyes was lazy or something he said or something like that so I had to do these exercises where I had to uh, like follow my finger and stuff with my eyes or with one eye but going to school and I was in the last year of school and no one had ever seen me with glasses before and it was it was like a big novelty. It was like some kind of like special carnival day. People were laughing and making fun of me and I thought it was just hilarious. Like even my family were laughing at me. So I took them off. <laughs> I just I, did, I just like I think I had about three hours of wearing them and then I took them off. I thought no. No, 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 no. 
and uh, the weird thing is because I stopped wearing them I mean proper stopped wearing them I've, I wore them for a couple of weeks I think and then I left school I might have worn them for reading but I don't think I did I think I just stopped wearing them altogether and it was probably when I was 19 that I got my first or my, my, my second pair of glasses I had an eye test and I only needed them for reading didn't need them for anything else so my eyes must have just kind of corrected themselves so yeah that was way more boring than I thought it was going to be I am really am the king of boredom that's brilliant I made uh, two new recordings today. I did a deep sleep whisper, hypnosis. I didn't realise I haven't done one for a week. And then I did... Uh, I sleep hypnosis weekly. I did that while I was lying down on my bed and I pretty much fell asleep while I was doing that which happens when I when I lay down on the bed it happens when I lay back in the chair if I'm listening to a recording or music although these days I'm spending more and more time listening to um positive uh, audio tapes so I'm a member of Audible which you can get just all audio versions of books basically sometimes read by the author sometimes not sometimes read by really famous people uh, so I don't really listen to the storybooks like the fiction or science fiction or anything like that I'm more into factual stuff much more uh, motivational, inspirational positivity that, that kind of uh, you know motivational speakers so I've got a few of those um, some that I've had in the past and so what am I listening to at the moment well not right now but um, I've got a Bob Proctor audio on Audible and I was listening to that And there's another book, yeah, Think and Grow Rich, which is a really famous book. So I read that years ago. I'm talking probably 20 years ago. And I found it very inspirational. It's not, it's not really, I know the title is Think and Grow Rich, but it's not really about money. It's about thinking, it's about um, you know, we become what we think about, what you focus on is just just affects our lives. And it's kind of obvious really, but um, it's a heck of a challenge to change those patterns. But I'm working on it. I really is working on it. Very slowly. Very, very, 
slowly. And um, I like to, I've been watching YouTube videos. Is it Larry Winget or Winget? Uh, he's, he, I was, yeah, I was listening to one of his audios. I'm just, I think I, I listened about an hour into about a seven hour long audio book. And that's one of the, I mean, it's a good thing, but at the same time, it's like, oh, because some of the stuff that I get on Audible, I can just listen to on YouTube. But if I get it on Audible, I can download it onto my phone. I think I suppose I could, yeah. I don't need the internet to listen to it with YouTube, I do. But of course there's ways around that as well, I suppose, but. kind of wish I still had my mp3 player because I used to have an iPad I was it iPlayer iPod iPod but the, the the really the top one which was like 250 gigabytes I think it was that's expensive I bought it I bought it I think just just as I was starting college I'll start in university. I just bought it because I thought because I had a lot of stuff, a lot of um, like hypnosis lectures and courses, online stuff, and so what I did is I filled it. I didn't fill it. I think I probably had about uh, I don't know, hundred gigabytes out of two hundred and fifty used up I think something like that and there was a lot of stuff on there I had some videos as well and it was just I think I had videos or maybe I'm maybe I didn't I'm pretty sure I had videos on there but it's really good So, it's, but yeah I kind of haven't got it anymore and I had so much stuff on there like lots of really good stuff that I may never get hold of again. Never mind. But it was, uh, I remember I used to go and when I'd visit like family or whoever or go somewhere, I'd be listening to it. And that's just really cool. I <laughs> just that like why I'm really telling you about it. It's just really I just have this memory this memory of waiting at the train station. And having to wait quite a while for the next train, and just walking up and down the platform right to the end, and then turning around and walking all the way back to the beginning of the platform, and and just noticing the feeling of my feet. As they, you know, as I walked along, as noticing kind of a meditation on my footsteps, as well as listening to the whoever it was I was listening to. good I wish I still had it now it's all that stuff that I've 
So I haven't um, I haven't been very productive this previous week due to it being a a very a very unusual week. Um, yeah, just a very, very strange, strange week, all in all. Apart from yesterday, yesterday was a good day, it was nice, relaxing, I did very little. I spent quite a bit of time sleeping. I've also spent some time on the website today, or yesterday rather, and I've not gone to bed yet, it's uh, it's about half seven in the morning, 7.46am on Sunday, and I'll probably go to bed when I've done this, kind of a lay down, just relax. So I'm feeling relaxed now. It took a few days to get there. But I'm, yeah, I'm there now. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking, and this is something that I've thought about and mentioned and even kind of attempted in the past but only briefly perhaps half-heartedly and without without any kind of planning or you know which is something that would be needed for this so I'm thinking, 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 thinking of doing a regular weekend radio show live. And it'll be available on Spreaker, but it'll also be available to listen on my website. So just be a case of just going to my website every Saturday or um, whenever it is and you just stream it live on there. So I kind of, that's what I'm thinking of doing. But it'll be different from this. Um, I suppose in the sense of it will be more focused ish you know I'll probably be reading out of the papers and maybe I'll kind of prepare during the week for it find some silly stories that I like maybe online or in the news and uh, you know just have a little bit of fun and you can then post uh, comments or whatever in, in the actual website so and I can answer there and then so you can send me messages you know do sort of thing so it makes it easy so you can just send me messages and I can read them out on that page a little a little message box that you can fill in and I thought that would be cool you know Then you can 
and sort of tell me how you are and but not as in a conversation but just I'd read it out and then if there's stuff that you find you've like liked or found maybe amusing or something amusing um, you can send it to me in the post you know something like that I don't know I don't know I've not really thought about it I don't know also if there's I might have said this before if there's a subject or if if you've got a book of funny facts not faxes as in F-A-X but F-U no F-A-C-S no F-A-C-T-S then or if you want to if you know there's one online you can buy and send it to me and then I can use it in these recordings like the let me bore you to sleep So I'm always interested. And they don't have to be funny facts either. Uh, it could be interesting stuff about where you live. About, let's say, about Canada. Or, or if you live in a town called Willieville. It, you know, in America, they might just... It could be a booklet. A little book. You could send that to me in a post. All the details of my... Where you can send it is on my website, and I can read it out if you tell me where you sent it from, who you are. I can read your name out as well, and I kind of I've never really been into trivia, trivia, but I do like trivia. That makes sense. I do. It gives me an excuse to learn things that I've got no interest in. You know, like uh, you might have a book on the world's longest bridges or the largest bridges in the world or the uh, facts about, you know, lakes lakes of the world and I've got zero interest in that but if you send me a book on it a book on that subject I'll read out some of the lakes and that means I'll be learning as well which is can only be a good thing education 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 is what my friend used to say he was even more boring than me. At least I had more than one word to say. So, yeah, or it could be a, the book of, a book of magic, you know, magic trick. No, no, I can't. No, it's it's wrong. I can't read out magic tricks, can I? Because that's the whole point. Is they're magic, and you're not supposed to reveal the tricks or how they're done. So that's that wouldn't be right. What other things could there be? I nearly bought a Guinness World Book of Records the other day. And it was from 2009, or for 2019. And it was on special offer, half price. So instead of £20, it's for £10. In fact, I think it's the Guinness Book of Records 2020, actually. So I thought about getting it as a present for someone I don't like. But um, I thought it'd be quite cool to to sort of you you know, to read out of bits out of that book and tell you what the latest world records are. 
but I didn't want to spend ten pound. They did have, or uh, well they, because that book was in W. H. Smith. I did see an older version. It was two thousand and eleven. Guinness Book of World Records. Andre's uh, reducing some body weight behind me. I can't believe I let him lick my face. <sighs> so Yeah, this book is the Guinness Book of World Records, 2011, and I, it was in a charity shop, but it was a bit too expensive, I think it was, I think that might have been £5, but I didn't want to spend that much. Andre's now doing his old game of you see me making this recording so now he's going to start playing around and seeing how much noise he can make he started with a carrier bag he's probably gonna, he's, he knows I'm talking about him he's looking at me Oh, looks like he's going back to bed. His new place to sleep is a pair of my old tracksuit bottoms. Or sweat, do you call them sweatpants in America? You know, things that you'd wear if you were jogging or in the gym. They're not lycra. They don't stick to me stick to me they do when I'm sweaty I suppose but well anyway my uh, the elastic broke on them so I couldn't wear them anymore so I just put them down and he's he likes them because he likes to crawl up the he likes to sleep in the leg there's like a little tunnel for him I don't know it's he loves it though. Well, I say he loves it. I mean, he might be he might be laying there thinking, oh, "I don't like this at all." There's no way of knowing, is there? Wish I had a double bed like him. Who knows? There's no, there's no way of really knowing. So I don't know if I did that radio show. I've got this little thing inside me. I don't want to talk about that. So I want to. I got this uh, this idea. I don't know if it's a longing or a wish or a want or a dream or I don't know. The idea of being a, a radio host or or because I wouldn't be a DJ because I wouldn't be playing any music I wouldn't be um, talking to other people as in conversations as in a radio uh, phone in show because I don't have that facility as yet but things are always changing you know with the technology for instance I found a podcast host 
that as well as you know you can upload your podcast unlimited recordings unlimited hours and all that stuff as far as I'm aware I think it works out about £15 a month it also transcribes the audios for free as part of the deal and yet I've tested it out and it's not perfect You know, it's not being done. It's by being done by a, a software algorithm, whatever that they've got going. But it's still pretty amazing. Consider, considering that to get a transcription of an audio would not generally cost about ten. I don't know. a dollar a minute or something something silly like that some of them are like that kind of cost which would be this would cost me $60 to get this recording I'm doing now transcribed or some do it at 25 cents a minute or I think I'm sure there's one that did it 10 cents a minute but still that's still six dollars for one recording at 10 cents it's like uh, I don't have I suppose if I had the money it's like anything isn't it you know, I can't get a can't use a private jet but if I had the money I could I suppose not that I I don't think I'd I don't think private jets are really my style. Because in a private jet, you're there, but you can't see people being envious. And you can't really show off because there's no one else in the air that you can, I suppose unless you fly next to a, like a normal airline passenger plane, and start sticking your bum against the window or something. I don't know. So I think I'd probably go by first class or business class, whatever the most expensive class there is, uh, and then just walk up and down, peacocking, because I've actually got feathers. And just walk up and down and just stick me bum out and just walk back again. Just saying, oh, excuse me, I'm just going to business class. Excuse me, please, I just got to get to business class. Oh, excuse, sorry about that, I just got to get to business class. And maybe as I get on and say, is this business class? Oh, no, it's not. Or I could say, I go into the first class section and say, oh, is this, look at the, the label or look at the, maybe they'll have a thing on, on the chair and I say, oh, is this first class, is it? And the person will say, yes. I said, oh, I haven't got a ticket for first class. I wait for them to look smug, thinking oh, I was, a, you know, just a, a normal human. And I say, no, I'm in business class. <laughs> and I would do a handstand all the way to business class. Well, maybe not all the way, but partly, part of the way. I don't know how many steps of a handstand would be enough to do its job you know would you need to go the whole way into business class or and I've got Andre eating his food making as much noise as he possibly can 
things I know that he's oblivious to me he's not doing it I know logically he's not doing it just to just to be noisy I just find it kind of humorous sometimes but he does it at certain times he just farted he did he's eating this dry food so he's had his cat food the wet food that he has and I get him ferret food like dry ferret food it's got the vitamins and you know all the kind of stuff that he needs I mean in reality you know he should be eating rabbits and stuff like that and hunting for them that's what you know he would be doing in the wild but he doesn't have to do that and he quite likes the dry food so he likes to crunch in. He likes to crunch. He's a cruncher. I don't know if you can hear him in the background. It's not like really, really noisy or anything. It's just a little bit distracting for me. And you know how I like to focus on um, um, I had this dream I had this dream now he's sneezing I had this dream and I did um Yeah, I had this dream. It was a really nice dream. It was one of those positive dreams, which was a complete opposite to, I think, how I would, in the past, have dreamt about that particular situation and issue that was on my mind at the time and I quite liked it because this is a situation where I've got no control over what happens and I filled the form in that I needed to fill in it's been sent off and I have to wait to see what happens then but I had a dream that I received a letter back saying all is well and you've scored higher points than normal than last time and we're going to give you more you know because this is like the benefits that I get and last time I did this form was two years ago and I lost £120 a month off my benefits so I had this dream, Is the dream was that I got the money back. Not backdated, but just got it back on a monthly basis. And I was, God, imagine getting that backdated. It'd be like £3,000 or something. Would that be 3000 £120 times by 12... So 10 is 1,200. What is that? 1,300. 1,400. And 40. Yes, yeah, it's nearly 3,000 pound over two years that I've lost. <laughs> that they took off me. So yeah. So that was a really nice stream. So I'm kind of hoping that 
it was uh, a little fortune cookie of a dream and everything's going to be groovy and why shouldn't it be now here in oh it's Sunday morning so people are going to be in the walking their dogs and I, was, I took Andre to the garage earlier it was yesterday and there was two dogs in the park and there was I think there was two women as well there was two humans it was dark I couldn't see all I could see was the shapes and I could hear the dogs but it was too too dark to make out who the people were and the one of the dogs started running at me so I picked Andre up and uh, put him in the bin no, I didn't I didn't do that I picked him up and uh, I just realised, you know, bin rhymes with dream. So yeah, so I picked him up and uh, the dog got called back um, by the owner, well, I don't know if it was the owner, the father, mother, whatever, I don't know. But one of the dogs was Barking non stop. Proper barking like rah, 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 or constant. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I don't think I think one day of that would be that'd be enough. And I'm a landlord, I had a landlady, I had lots of landlords and landladies over the years and there's one who was looking after a friend's dog, I think while they was on holiday or something. This dog did not shut up. It's the same kind of dog as, do you remember Heart, yeah, I'll say do you remember? There was a program called Heart to Heart a long, long time ago. And there was a dog on there called Max or Maxwell, I think. And uh, it's that kind of dog. And when I said, can you shut that thing up, please? I think it, in nicer words, my landlady said to me, he's talking to me. He's talking to me. No, he's not. He's just barking constantly. The thing is, it was in the house for like a week or two. And I really kind of got to like him, <laughs> which is weird. And uh, it was a cute little thing. And I realised really she was egging him on to bark. Because when he was with me, he didn't do it. So I think he might have been just asking her to be quiet. I don't know. But he was chilled out most of the time. It seemed to be when I was asleep. When I was in bed. That used to be a good time. Let's let's talk. Let's get the dog talking. Yeah. While the lodge is asleep. Yeah. Even though he is paying to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we're relying on the money he gives us every week. Yeah, let's get the dog barking while he's asleep. Yeah, I'm not at all bitter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good boy. 
Yeah. I go uh, go to his door and do a wee wee against the door like I t- like I taught you, like I showed you how to do it, like I did it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, um, it was a good dream though. A nice. I like those kinds of dreams. I like dreaming about. Sometimes, sometimes I dream about falling in love and it's, there's certain times when I don't like the dream to end, so I might be in on a date and you know perhaps gone home and it's been a beautiful and gone out with her and gone baby gone home with her or she's come back to mine and we're having a cuddle and um, and then I wake up before maybe we have like go to kiss and then I wake up it's like oh So I can't believe it. So I've just spent three hours listening to how horrible the last boyfriend was. Three hours listening to that. And I go to kiss, I get I go to have a kiss, then I wake up. Why did I have to dream all through that? Why why did why couldn't I have woken up sooner? And then I think the ideal situation is quite nice is sometimes I'll dream and have the and it will be you know a beautiful evening all the nice stuff has happened it's all lovely and uh, and I'll try I'll drift to sleep holding her in my arms and then I need to go to the toilet and I wake up so I get to wake up before the morning before the awkwardness so it's you know it's uh (laughs) oh dear you know, I can't, I genuinely, genuinely can't recall many of my dreams these days. I don't even know if I do dream as much as I used to. And that might be lack of stimulation in some ways because if or actually this week has been fairly stimulating but the week gone by and hopefully the next week won't be but the you know I have you know I because I don't see many people and I don't have a work life or a social life or uh, well any anything really so I don't have much contact with people so I haven't got that input going in I guess that would then maybe stimulate dreams of processing it perhaps I don't know why do you keep asking me these things I don't I don't know the answer to everything that's why I need a book called The Answer to Everything 
if such a book exists. It sounds like someone's let fireworks off in the distance, which is a bit weird at 8.20 in the morning. So I'm going to bring this to an end in case the fireworks get closer, because that's not the ideal ending to a sleep recording. So I shall speak to you very soon. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.